Hello and welcome to my review of the entire Black Templars release. I wasn't going to get any of the uh, Black Templars um, Space Marines in this release but one of you subscribers donated the army box in the back to the channel and that sort of spurred me on to pick up all of the other new releases uh, in that release window. The army set um, was good. Uh, it still saved you a little bit of money um, from buying the, the miniatures separately. But as I said, as I reviewed that set, I would have preferred all new models uh, in the set. And as it stands, we did receive another Primaris Redemptor Dreadnought. And it's a full kit and Redemptor Dreadnoughts are good. Uh, I just feel like uh, maybe if they had put the Sword Brethren in, um, which are actually cheaper, than a Redemptor Dreadnought. Uh, I feel that that would have been uh, a better decision, having all new Black Templars in one box set. Maybe they thought it was just too many new minis in one set, um, but you know, they, they did do that with the Beast Snagger set and you know, obviously with the, the Sisters of Battle set. Um, the one thing I will say though uh, about that set was, um, it included, you know, the two HQs, the, 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 the Marshal there, which is kind of like the Black Templars version of a captain. Um, it included, this, it included the uh, Crusader uh, squad, um, which consists of the, the 10 Space Marines. Um, some of them are neophytes, some of them are initiate, initiates, and one of them is a Sword Brother. That is a decent kit because you've got lots of options, lots of um, spare parts, you can equip them with so many different uh, weapon loadouts, different helmets and things. Uh, the Marshal you can tweak a little bit, you can uh, give him a helmeted head, a combi flamer and swap his power sword out for a um, power axe. So you can change him slightly, so if you were to get two they would look a little bit different. The Empress Champion is the Empress Champion, you, you know, no changing uh, with him, you can't do anything with him really no options with him. Uh, and then of course the Redemptor Dreadnought. Now that army set uh, was quite pricey, it was £125, um, which is what the new um, Chaos versus like Eldar set uh, is and uh, is going to be. And that consists of all brand new minis, well except for one. So a little bit like this, been in the Forge Fiend is going to be, um, has been around uh, before. But the point I'm trying to make is it would have been nice if the set was like bang on £100. Um, that would have been pretty decent. Um, but as it stands, £125. The Redemptor is a £40 model and the Marshall is £21. So that's already um, half of your box set in just those two models. The Codex is, they are £30 now. Um, the Supplement, I'd probably say uh, they'd push for £25 with that. Uh, codex because it's a lovely full art cover and let's just take a, a moment to appreciate John Blanche's um, Warhammer 40,000 Black Templars um, artwork there. It's absolutely stunning. It um, gives me nostalgia vibes every time I look at it because it reminds me of uh, sort of third edition um, and that was the first edition that I kind of really heavily got into uh, back in the day. Then you add on the Emperor's Champion which is £23.50 and that's £84 and the Crusader Squad is £36.50. So already uh, you're almost hitting that um, £125 and that's not even including that uh, codex or the pack of cards. Pack of cards are usually about £12 too. So you can view it as either getting the Redemptor Dreadnought for free uh, or um, the codex and the cards for free. Although it was an expensive set, um, it did save you a bit of money from getting it all separately. Uh, but the key thing I want to take away from that army set is Unless you really, really like uh, the, you know, the limited um, book in there, pretty much all of the miniatures uh, will become available to purchase individually within a month or two uh, of their release. So if, you, if Games Workshop suddenly uh, surprise you, uh, box set surprise uh, with an army set or some models that you really like the look of and they're in a big box set like this. Don't let the fear of missing out get to you and um, you have to scrimp and borrow money off people to you know pick it up. Um, I'd say hold tight and wait for 
you know the individual releases which is what i've always said throughout these box sets that have kind of unique miniatures you know that's 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 going to be the same for this eldritch omen set as well you know the the autark although it is cool i can live without for a while if i wasn't going to pick up the set the same kind of goes for the chaos for the uh, chosen and the the warp smith um and there's no big fancy book or anything uh, in with this next box set so all of those miniatures will become available uh, i just hope they're going to be available at the time of release of the Ch full chaos release and hopefully the full eldar release anyway i've talked at length about that black templars army set um, we were then spoilt with new um, versions of uh, high marshal helbrecht over there well he, he takes center center space i will be spraying him gold at some point soon uh, he's got this orc on the base it's just a fantastic miniature and although he's 29 pounds and you could say oh super you know it's the same price as Grimaldus and Grimaldus is four models I mean yeah but you know High Marshall does have a number of models on his base and it's got that massive base too and with uh, current Primaris captains costing 23 pound I think like five pounds 50 more for that massive scenic base and all those miniatures isn't actually too bad um, when you look at it compared to the most recent um, Primaris offerings, which have all been very close uh, in, in their releases. Um, so High Marshal Helbrecht, lovely mini. You've got two versions of his head, but apart from that, you're going to have to build him uh, like, like I have. Uh, Grimaldus, same for him and the, the retinue of Cenobites. They're all going to be the same and the same for the, the castle and this model right here. Absolutely stunning. You can see him on the artwork there. Um, a lovely lovely miniature and is actually my favorite out of this whole release um why wouldn't he be uh, I, I was drawn to this model more than you know the, the marshal next to him um you know back in the day uh, yes there's some funky uh overhangs from that era such as you know cabling from the the flamer bolter to the um to the grip uh which then feeds into the fuel canister i'm guessing that if they had an integrated uh fuel delivery system that would have made the gun even bigger um but sometimes you do see that in some space marine weapons and likewise with the the power axe with the the cabling that goes all the way to the power plant is also a bit odd um but chunky thick uh black templars um space marine uh castellan it's the equivalent of a, a lieutenant um in in a normal space marine army but yeah fantastic mini is my favorite closely followed by uh hellbrecht then over in the distance there um you've got the um sword brethren uh, if you can see them there uh, making their way up the field i'm not a massive fan of those i think the the poses are better for the crusader squad than the sword brethren uh, some of these sword brethren do look like they're about to fall over they're not quite sure which direction they're going in um, a bit of a shame but at least uh, you do get a number of weapon options loads of chain swords loads of power swords and um, you know enough to make another set of sword brethren if you don't really mind that your second set if you're using uh, you know like five intercessors or something and um, that they won't have any cloaks um but maybe an assault intercessor squad if you can pick like five assault intercessors up um that might be a good good shout to uh, uh use them but make sure you pick up that um black templars accessory box set uh to really um kit them out with black templars uh, relics and things like that so and then uh, just in the front there to the left we've got Romaldus and his um, retinue same price as high marshal helbrecht never been a massive fan of um, Grimaldus but I think his retinue is quite cool um, and it's great that he's been primarisified and uh, been given uh, an upgrade in, in lots of details and things so so overall uh, a nice update for black templars we've sort of got eight well nine if you count the codex unique releases for black templars which is i, I think quite a, a chunky amount um, i hope other chapters receive upgrades like imperial fists uh, like uh, like dark angels i hope they get more more primaris um, things and i hope as time goes on other chapters do get upgrades and um, newer models to bring them up to the, the Primaris uh, level. 
But what do you guys think of the army set, of the whole release um, for Black Templars? Um, be very interested to find out what, uh, what you think. Um, are there any sort of miniatures or units that are missing um, from this, this release? I think this army works very well with uh, Sisters of Battle. Um, so if you can sort of team both of those armies up, that would be fantastic. I've been very happy uh, with the Black Templars. Again, one of the, the coolest looking um, Space Marine chapters. They're just on a massive crusade. And I really like their origins with the Emperor's Champion and uh, you know the Imperial Fists. But what do you guys think of uh, the release and the new models? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below as always. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.